if this ain't some patriarchal bullshit. You see, it is videos and it is people like that, really. It is that people like that that demonstrates how every religion consistently changes based on whatever the culture is of that day. Because what you just expressed is that because of Christianity is why women have equal rights. So let me go ahead and diffuse that whole argument right off the whip. In the United Arab Emirates, women have the same amount of rights as women in America. But yet there is no Christianity. Well, very little Christianity. The overwhelming majority of people in the United Arab Emirates, especially Dubai, are Muslim. Yet women have equal rights. Qatar, equal rights. Kuwait, equal rights. These are Muslim countries. Women in Iran are gaining more and more equal rights through their protest. And they are getting more equal rights in Saudi Arabia through their protest. It is protest and the mindset of people that changes the rights and privileges of the people in that country, not the religion. What happens is the religion is adapted to and attached to the cause and therefore utilized as a mechanism to catch people in their spiritual fields to make them agree to the change to which you, want, you desire. Because your argument can flip-flop in either way. It is Christianity and the Bible that actually subjugated women into bride marriages, into being slave brides, that said that they can their voice is not valued, so their witness is not a value, to a, their witness to an event is not valued, their uh, promises are not valued, that their bodies are not valued, that they don't have agency. But as we move into the 20th century, women began to demonstrate and protest and through that, they utilize certain aspects of Christianity to do the very thing that is the antithesis of what is also in Christianity. It is the same way with slavery. Slavery is acceptable in the Bible, condoned in the Bible, given rules in the Bible, and then those same people who were abolitionists use other passages within the Bible to galvanize people to fall to their side to say that slavery is wrong. So it really demonstrates that your book, your Bible, can be utilized to justify any side of any argument in the same way that we got Republicans using the Bible and Democrats using the Bible, standing on opposing sides of the women's rights and abortions. So your Bible can flip-flop to either one, which is why I constantly say that this book is not authoritative because it changes based on whichever culture is in charge and whichever culture, whatever the culture then makes adjustments to. So your argument is, is, is invalid because it can't hold up to the scrutiny of history and change and there is always some other cultural aspects as to why a society changes their rules and regulations for their people, and it is truly the society and not your religion. This is male patriarchs wanting to still control the narrative, to be able to control women and say that, oh yeah, well, you know, it's because of the Bible that you have freedom. So you need to go ahead and still submit to the Bible so that you can have your freedom. But then remember, this is what the Bible says, that the man is the head of the woman, God is the head of the man, the woman is the weaker vessel. The woman uh, should submit to her husband. She should be quiet in the church and not speak. But she have any questions, ask her husband at home. This is how you still maintain your patriarchy by saying, yes, freedom, equal rights between men and women is ordained by God. But just remember, just remember, it was Eve who was fooled by the serpent and not Adam. So you brought in sin. You are punished. It was your fault that we have evil in the world. That's the bullshit of this book. That's the bullshit of, patri of this patriarchy of trying to control the narrative and controlling women. But hey, dude, if it makes you happy, I looked at a couple of your videos. You look like you're by yourself. You might have a wife. I don't know. But you look pretty much by yourself. And maybe that's why because you don't have respect for other people and their agency.
But hey, you have a great day. And remember always, you got to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibrations.